This is what is wrong with people. Now I'm gonna let the video play and I'm gonna cut out the pieces that need to be cut out. So you're gonna see it jump a little bit, but I need you to get a bit of context in that. So I'm gonna let the video run. Oh God, well, I think the most important thing you can do is tailoring, you know, no matter what you have in your closet. Isn't that weird? It's like, that it, yeah, yeah, is that what you want? Really agree. Yeah. You think that it's not gonna make a big impact, but if it fits you to a T, you look a more- I always get so disturbed when she starts speaking. Like 90% of this, the footage that I've seen of her, she says nothing, okay? And every time she opens her mouth, I'm like, I have no memory of this woman's voice. Like- A billion times better. And I learned that working on suits. How would yeah, you describe your personal style? Well, you know, for me- Beige, okay, beige and creased. Me, it's I'm, so I'm gonna send you something for you to post that when she's talking about that, because we're gonna talk about that. I'm not being mean, but th these are the words of this woman. Go back and what she says, go back and what she says, and then, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna show the pictures afterwards because okay. I want somebody in the chat to tell me when she's been tailored or anything and or well well put together. Let's listen to it from the beginning. Yeah. Oh yeah. She she likes crinkled, unironed beige. Oh. Wait. So is there one go-to rule? Is there like this thing that every woman, if they're watching, they should be like, oh, that's the thing I should do if I want to like you know dial up my personal style. Oh God. Well, I think the most important thing you can do is tailoring uh, or brush your hair. Sorry. <laughs> dial up my personal style. Oh God, well, I think the most important thing you can do is tailoring, you know, no matter what you have in your closet. Isn't that weird? You know, she looks like, you know, when you see a horror movie. Guys, isn't it weird? Uh -huh. You know, when you see a horror movie and like some woman comes running out into the woods and slams into the side of a car and they're like, I need your help. I need your help. And she gives me crazy lady who's run out the woods vibes. Okay, we're going to go back to the beginning again. Yeah. You, okay, so just so you know, the point of this was she says that tailoring. What but is the thing you can do is tailoring. You think that it's not going to make a big impact, but if it fits you to a T, you look a million times lurking. better. And I learned that working on suits. How would yeah, you describe your personal style? Well, you know, for me, it's still that California girl relax. I like to look polished and put together. Do you? Is that a fact, Megan? Show the, picture. Show the pictures. Is that a fact, Megan? You like to look polished. <laughs> <laughs> and put together and put together oh uh, listen that hairstyle was put together right by oh, being no, no, dragged through a bush no. show her show it show the pictures i sent you uh, clearly also what okay no i thought that was her whole leg but half of it's hidden by her, her dress uh yeah that's it, that looks like one of my mum's old like dinner set designs on the plates not even then this looks like a like a like uh you know when you get out of the bathtub gone wrong like a kimono gone wrong all no. Wrinkles, what do you mean getting, getting out of the bath? So what big. can go wrong getting out the bathtub? That, whatever fascinator you want to call it. <gasps> Ron, oh my God. You're making me work, you know? I'm going to send you something here. <laughs> I love you, Paula. <laughs> no, but seriously, for Meghan Markle, I'm not no, saying... That dress is no, no, hear me out, hear me out. All I'm saying is for Meghan Markle, what's with the tan lines, Megan? I mean... Anyway, let's not, let's not right now. Uh, how that's that not bad. To that's look. not bad. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you how that dress is supposed to look, Ron. And then okay. you're gonna. Oh, I'm gonna. And this is another one. This is a famous dress because clearly she's not pregnant there, and and that's a fake bump. I mean, I don't care which way you slice it. She's that is. Like, she's bump. got like trucker arm. You know, like when the truckers have one arm at the window and they get like okay, a sun. This pad. is how that dress is supposed to look, Ron. Okay. And the one that I'm gonna send you. That's the, that's how the dress is supposed to look. That is not the same dress. It is the same dress. That is the Carolina Herrera dress. Look how she put the thing on her nipples. It's really too what? tight. At this that, show it to the people. Oh wow. Okay. Well, no, but listen. But for Megan, no, this dress is what? horrible. And this lich. That's how it was supposed to look. Do you know? I swear to God, I've known about twenty people in my life who have who own this exact outfit. I, I, this I swear to God. Tailoring, you just heard her saying oh, yeah. that tailoring makes all the difference. Keep in mind. So I wonder if she did this on purpose or she just didn't listen to people. But I sent you a picture of three people trying to fit Meghan Markle into that dress. 
<laughs> you know? She's a cyborg. It is, people. it is because that dress, if it fits like the model, you just put it on because it would have slid, you know, it would have, you know, would have slid, or it would have slid perfectly on. But because it's too tight, they're trying to sew her into the dress because it's like two or three sizes smaller, and and that they sent her because you know why? And I found out why. I wanted to show that picture here, because she told Carolina Herrera that she was size zero or something like that, and when they yeah. sent it. She's like size six, because this is okay. before her pre ozempic era. Why, why are there three people under this woman's dress? Trying because to they're trying to fit her. They were trying. They even uh, they they were trying to get her into a dress because when I think that she didn't buy this dress, Carolina Herrera, it was like a borrowed dress, right? And then she had to send it back. But when they sent for a request because she wants to be the supermodel, she says it was like a size zero or two. Are you sure this is? Are you sure this isn't like a cut cold situation that we're seeing here? Like, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm getting up. like uh, I'm I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting some vibes here. This is this this is, we shouldn't be looking at this. This is a daytime show. Okay, the preg pregnancy in the white dress. That guy's yes, that dress woman, from the man. back, Ron. I mean, uh, uh, if you saw that dress from the back, it's actually oh horrible. Oh no, Paula, we're on the same page on this one. What is this for a start? It it looks dirty at the bottom here. It look like does she go to bed? In the dress she's going to wear the next day and roll the dress up her body and then sleep in it and then get out of bed the next day because that's the vibe i'm getting with with things like this oh what no I, I'm, I'm gonna on. show you something wrong which is really really bad that dress is i'll show you what because we've done this dress is famous because it it's completely ill-fitted okay it's completely ill-fitted that dress is horribly ill-fitted and because i don't know she's trying to hold the bump in there she's trying to hold the bump in there and she when she sits down the bump disappears literally the bump disappears and i'll show you this because i know you don't believe me keep but, in oh. mind how tight this is and she's supposed to be that pregnant right i'm going to send you these pictures i don't know if you can put them yeah, on this that screen. one uh, that one's actually rendered me a tiny bit speechless because what a mess what a mess right so the way this video came about was i was just on my youtube and there's a if you can see in over there in that corner it says sean atwood he does those videos where he interviews people that have gone to prison and that i've not sat down and watched any of his interviews and that but there was one with andrew tate so we got my Andrew tate so obviously i decided to watch it and that. so i was watching it whatever in it so for some reason obviously when you watch one person's channel it recommends you to watch another you know episode or whatever's going on on that person's channel so it was lunchtime during work uh well lunchtime during the day i was at home and um, i was on my, obviously my feed page on uh youtube so i just see sean atwood atwood doing a live stream so i thought well, let me just click it to see what it's about and that and now i just see these lot talking about Meghan markle so i'm listening and i'm at, man i sat there like and i think to myself this is what's wrong with people. Why the fuck are you doing a live stream gunning this woman? Like, get a life, blood. You're sitting there talking about a woman that don't even know who the fuck you are. You're sitting there talking about someone that wouldn't make videos about you. You need to get a life, man. There's more to life than gunning someone. Now, obviously, it's different, like, you know, you're just making content and that reacting to a video and that. No, she's prepared this. She's sending pictures to this guy, they're uploading and that. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, Meghan Markle, she doesn't even know, she probably don't even know who this woman is. Like, if, God forbid, obviously, Meghan Markle passed away and the woman passed away, if, you know, some higher power said to Meghan Markle and the woman, we will allow you to come back alive, but you have to be the other person. So, that woman above my head, She's allowed to come back alive, be reincarnated, but she has to be Meghan Markle. She will say, yeah. On the other hand, if Meghan Markle passed away, God forbid, if the higher power said, you can come back to life, but you have to be this woman above, she will say, nah, fuck it, man. I'd rather just be six foot under in the grave and that. The fuck, man? Under no circumstances would Meghan Markle ever want to be this woman, but she feels like she's got the right to, to rinse her and to gun her. I don't even know what the fuck this idiot is, is, is talking about, you're a grown ass man. You're a grown ass man. Why have you got time to be sending pictures and reacting and, and taking a piss and, you know what I'm saying, isn't it? attacking some rant, well, attacking someone. Like, what's the matter with you, man? Like, you, you're not just reacting to content and that. You've deliberately 
selected this person to, to, to roll some and gun them. And it's not going to be educational for anybody. Like, when that Will Smith thing happened where he slapped my man and that, a lot of people were making videos dissing Will Smith and whatever and the situation and that. Me, I did not react to it. I even had someone phone me up and say, yo, I, need, I want you to react to it. And I said, why? They said, oh, no, man, because it would be good for you to, you know what I'm saying? I said, like, fuck that, man. I, I don't jump on what's trending, yeah? I'm going to start the trends or I ain't jumping on the trends, yeah? So, but the man them that were making videos and that, you know, there are some educational things they could have, they probably spoke about in the videos that, oh, you shouldn't have, like, if you're ever in this position, man them, don't do this because whatever, innit, yeah? But this is not helping anybody. I just stick it to myself. This is what's wrong with people. You've got an hour of your day to sit down and attack one person. Not someone's popped up on your screen during a reaction video and that you're just roasting them. Nah, you're deliberately going out of your way to attack somebody. I just thought, you know what? These people out here, man, they need to get a fucking life, man. Anyway, man, that's it for today. No, don't be like these damn people. Damn fool, grown-ass, Ras Clark, man. Sending pictures to a next woman, receiving pictures from a next woman. Talking about a woman's dress sense and that. Man, listen, you got other things, yeah? You, you, yeah, you got, you got to start conquering stuff. Yeah, you got, you got things to do. You ain't got time to be chatting about a fucking woman. Damn fool. Anyway, man, that's it for today, man. Just tell you what, it's a ton, man.